हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन जय मा काली वेल वन थिंग इज सर्टेन इन दिस वर्ल्ड दैट नथिंग इज सर्टेन बट वन थिंग आई कैन टेल यू ऑल विद सर्टेनिटी इज दैट गॉड इज होल्डिंग अ बिलियन यूनिवर्स ऑन हिज फार्म not one universe but a billion universe on his palm and is protecting loving and blessing everything in it so i pray to god yes pray does work and my prayer would be that god loves you all blesses you all and protects you all more than before yes and my today's topic is aries moon sign how will the year 2019 pan out for aries moon sign people the caveat i would like to add here is that that this description about aries moon sign is a very general overview a better perspective on your horoscope can be given once your detailed birth horoscope is seen by an astrologer rahu and ketu are two shadowy planets and hold a great significance in any horoscope they do not possess any physical existence and are forever retrograde in their motion they change signs every 18 months and this year in the year 2019 rahu will transit into gemini and ketu will transit into sagittarius rahu's inherent nature is very similar to shani and ketu's traits resemble mars they indicate past life karmas and how one experiences it in their present life ketu is the south node and rahu is the north node ketu can enhance spiritual interests and pursuits and rahu is going to enhance your luxury and materialistic side of your life rahu will transit into the third house of aries moon sign during this time all your efforts are going to get wasted the third house from your moon sign is said to be an inauspicious placement of rahu which would bring ill luck hardship failures disappointments in life as rahu will be aspecting your ninth house this malefic planet will infuse an illusion in this particular house though you may show your boldness your power to take risks but eventually it is not going to help you all in your business job financial matters but you will not succeed during this transit of la rahu which aspects your 7th 9th and 11th houses from aries moon sign your younger brothers and sisters may expect a lot from you but you will not be able to rise to their expectations you might lose a very big deal or fail an interview during this time try to avoid arguments debates with your family friends colleagues bosses as this might result in strained relationships with them and probably you might experience a financial loss during this time if you are already having a strained marriage this transit of rahu might end your marriage loss of your job cannot be ruled out during this transit ketu will transit into the ninth house 
ninth house from your moon sign. You will be connected to God and Godly people during this time. Spirituality will be the flavor of the season. This year, use your philosophy and remain inclined towards the Almighty if you wish to have a peaceful time. You will understand during this transit that there is a powerful being who is ruling our lives. And if you can focus to understand this truth in depth, you are going to be a winner in this life. You are going to be a winner for the rest of your life. Well, God is nature and nature is God. Remain connected to God and nature, which will help you overcome all the difficulties of life during this Ketu transit in Sagittarius and in the future. You would like to impose obedience and strict rules upon yourself and this will work magic in your professional and personal life. Jupiter's transit for Aries moon sign in 2019. Jupiter, as you all know, has already moved into Scorpio. This will help you all achieving wealth in your life. Though Rahu and Ketu will not be beneficial financially, but Brihaspati, Jupiter is going to help you all accumulate wealth. It is going to protect your family and it is going to ensure that you all spend your money in the right way because Jupiter will aspect your second house, twelfth house and the fourth house. This transit could be some sort of very ordinary and the efforts you all will put during this time will not fulfill your desires. It may cause mental stress for completion of your work in your job or business. Hard work could also add to your tension. So try to maintain a balance between work and pleasure. You need to fulfill your commitments during this time and may have to maintain a lot of patience for getting the desired results. Cut your co coat according to your cloth. That means do not take loans and adjust with your available resources. You may gain gain from ancestral property which was kept pending for a long time. You may spend for spiritual travels and during this travel you may get guidance from a spiritual guru for choosing the right path of your life. This Saturn, the Saturn in Sagittarius will be with Ketu in your ninth house. Married people will be loyal and dedicated to their relationship. All the past differences and fights would be sorted out and this will bring you closer to your wife, your partner. Love and relationship would both get restored during this Shani transit in Sagittarius. Shani, the Lord of 10th and 11th house from your Aries moon sign will bring gain because Shani will be in the house of your fortune. Your boss during this time will be authoritative and might be unreasonable in his demands. Be calm. Ultimately, you are going to benefit from this hard work. Meditation would help you all 
to deal with increasing workload and other stressful conditions. Saturn will give career opportunities in foreign lands. Students would get an admission for higher education in foreign universities. There will be some hurdles and slow pro progress in your career, but stay confident as you will certainly get success. Saturn 2019 transit assures a slow and steady growth for you. And in regard to remedies, I would like to tell you all, tell every Aries moon sign to donate 10 rupees to 10 poor people in January 2019. Do not have any sort of non-vegetarian food on Tuesdays. And finally, if you all are already facing any sort of problem, turbulence, I mean the Aries moon sign people who are already experiencing any sort of problems in their lives, any sort of worries regarding wealth, health, marriage, education, then I have developed a special amulet for them. You can inquire about this locket, this amulet by calling the numbers given on this video. This amulet, this locket has been developed for Aries moon sign people who are facing any sort of problem in their lives. This locket is going to increase your positivity in this life. So if you wish to have this locket amulet, you can contact on these numbers which have been given on this video. Jema Kali.